The next morning, the alarm goes, I pretended NASA was there. I literally went five, four, three, two, one, counted out loud, and then I stood up. And for the first time in three months, I had beaten my habit of hitting the snooze button. What is Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, Lady Gaga, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Barack Obama, and I could go on and on and on about the most successful people in the world today and throughout history, what do all of them have in common? They all have an empowering morning ritual. Almost everything you do from the time you get up in the morning is habit. So start to think about yourself. What would be the best habits to have? A starting ritual is a repeated behavior that you adopt in order to trigger a new habit. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you for grace, thank you for love, thank you for kindness, thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. The secret of success is determined by your daily agenda. What you want to be tomorrow, you've got to do today. Have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals, and understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you have already done, and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and this a few days. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan. Working really hard is what successful people do. Your footprints to success are really footprints of success. Because every step that is made and taken, based upon the goals that you have for your life, every step is the progressive realization of success in your life. Good habits are hard to form, but easy to live with. Bad habits are easy to form, but hard to live with. So the rule is, form good habits and make them your masters. Habits come down to one golden rule, and that's this. You can never change the things that trigger you. You can't control your urges or how you might feel, but you can always choose how you behave. If you want to break a habit, once you have a habit, it's always going to be encoded in your brain. The only way that you can break it is to replace it with new behavior. This means when you go to sleep at night, think about your goals for the coming day. Make a list for each day of all the goals, the little goals you're going to accomplish that day. Keep a journal and write down your goals on a regular basis. You see, you do become what you think about most of the time. You do achieve what you think about most of the time. So all successful people and all wealthy people think about their goals most of the time. The things that get scheduled are the things that get done, and vague goals lead to vague results. Have you ever noticed how hard it is to just get started? How hard it is to get to the gym? How hard it is to get out of bed? You need activation energy to start the chain, to start to sit down, to start to get out of bed, to start to walk out the door. That's the key to creating any kind of change. This activation energy inside of you that causes the initial boom. And then what do we hear over time? Once you start, there's a chain reaction and that allows you to keep going. Self-discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you feel like it or not. You see, anybody can do it if they feel like it. It's when you don't feel like it and you do it anyway that you eventually develop the self-discipline that makes everything else possible. Discipline is not punishment. It's not. Discipline is training. If you change your mind, your mindset, and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. You're not only going to blow up 
the system in your head and the tricks that your brain uses to stop you right now, you're going to shake up your entire life. Discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. Remember, just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. When you do live in a world where there's such a fascination with entertainment, you know, and everyone loves pretty pictures, and it's really easy to spend the best hour of your best days looking at what your friends are eating. And I'm suggesting to you, you think like a student. Because you're watching this mastery session because something deep within you wants you to be the master of your game. And here's the thing about every master. Every master thinks like a beginner. They're always learning. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Make today.